Hi, how are you? It's Trav Smeerud. Welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some horde, went for Kuergo's gold, but failed. And we also got beat up by some horde as well. Got chased down by a hunter. And now we are running back to our body. That's what we were doing today. And we are going to give this Kuergo's gold another try. Hopefully we can do it, guys. That was rough. The, the turtle... We could have finished this quest, but that turtle... That came out of nowhere, that's the guy who really wrecked it. I think we would have been able to get the quest done before... We, uh... Encountered those hunters. I tried to run in the water, but it didn't, do too, didn't help too much. And yeah, there isn't a reagent vendor in Tanaris. I looked it up. There is one, though, in Cataclysm. They had one in Cataclysm. And, uh... Cataclysm is actually kind of interesting. Oh, this entire area here... Is completely destroyed. Steam Weedle Port gets destroyed. So pretty much it's like Gadget Stand. Gadget Stand stays alive though. Deathwing doesn't destroy Gadget Stand. But he does destroy all of this. This is all water. And then uh, Caverns of Time is safe. So since they, since, you know, Deathwing destroyed Steam Weedle Port, they, I guess they had to add more. Avengers to uh, Gajistan. But I wish they had a reagent vendor there, man. It would have been nice to have Ankh. So we could uh, resurrect ourselves. Yeah. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm doing pretty well. Well, unfortunately, we got to walk back like this at the start of the episode, but... It is what it is. I like to show the entire journey. That's just how I roll with uh, my Let's Plays. I don't really skip stuff. I show the entire journey from 1 to max level. Yes, yeah, this is a part of it. I can't believe we're almost at 150 episodes. We are somewhat halfway there, I think. I wouldn't say we're halfway there right now, but we're getting there. Level 70 is probably going to take over 100. 60 to 70 is going to take over 100 episodes. Probably going to be close to 400. It's crazy. It makes me think, you know. Yeah, it makes me wonder if I'll be able to have these fit, like have the paladin and the and the shaman at seventy when Wrath of Lich King comes out, because that's that's what I'm hoping for, or at least when the Wrath of Lich King free patch comes out. I think that's like at least five months away. would be uh, October. And I'm hoping to get these videos out daily soon. That'll speed it up a little bit. Another 150 episodes would take four months or even longer, five months? Yeah, five months of, of uploading every day. We still might not be 70 at that point. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm pr probably still leveling this guy in Wrath. Crazy how long it takes.
takes a while. Like people say, TBC, like yeah, it doesn't take that long level. TBC is faster than classic. It's really not. It's the same thing. It's just they added ten levels. It just takes you a less amount of time to get from one to sixty. That's it. And then once you add on the the sixty to seventy part, it's pretty much the same thing. And I think. Uh, Wrath of Lich King will probably be the same as that, right? Like, 1 to 60 will feel super quick. But, uh, 60 to 80, now that's going to take a while. Going through Outland and Northern. Alright, so here we are. We're back here again. It's a new day. Hopefully, we can succeed. And defeat these pirates. First, we need to set up shop. I'm gonna fight some turtles because they they really suck. And I don't want to deal with them. Oh my gosh, this guy's level 50. Why are you level 50, man? We don't want more turtles coming. Is this turtle gonna attack us? I gotta run? He's thinking about it. Yeah, I knew it. Turtles. Turtles. <laughs> I hate turtles. They're so, like, oh man. Okay, this is a better spot. Less turtles. Good thing they told me to run away. Yeah, this is, this is the spot to come to. This is where we will... We'll do a good job here, I think. You don't have to worry about turtles. Just pirates. Alright, so let's buff up. Set down all our totems. There you go. Who the heck are you? What the heck's that turtle doing? Just when you think you don't have to worry about turtles. They just start attacking. Don't ever trust them. Actually, I want to put one of these down. And then I want to have a drink. Good, now we'll do it. Got a little bit more time on our searing totem now. All right, here we go. We're gonna have to run away. We all know that. Get this guy down. I wanna get one down. One guy. Come on, one guy. We're not gonna be able to do it. And we're gonna die. Yeah, I want to give up, man. This is so dumb, man. I don't know. Not getting a helmet, dude. That was like the dumbest thing. I must say, like... The shaman can't do it. He just uh, he just doesn't... Like, shaman... Shaman's okay, but, like, shaman isn't that great. Like... Druid's got bear. Like, what does Shaman have? Like, I had my totems up. I had everything up. I was prepared. Can't handle five mobs, though. Neither could any of my other... Any other class. For that matter. Warrior would get wrecked, too. It's not Shaman. It's just... We're not... We're not high enough level for it. The thing is, I got one down the first time. How did I get one down the first time? Man, running back's gonna suck. What did I do? I don't know. We were prepared. Everything was up, had our buffs. We don't really have a health pot. Yeah, we don't have health pots. Could have used this uh, buzzard wing and got ourselves eight stamina. I'm not sure if that would have done anything, though. It's like 80 extra health. 
it's better than nothing though I need to start with uh, lightning bolt it's the only way to do it I hope those pirates are still there But I was hoping to take one down because then it makes the next fight not as bad because all five of them are going to attack me again. It gets, uh, it's pretty rough. I've never had so much trouble on this quest. Like my hunter did great. Drew did great. Paladin did great. Shaman, not not so much. Hunter's Hunter has like you know, feign death, a pet. Paladin's got bubble, lay on hands. My druid has a bear form. You know, could just dash away, heal himself with hots. Doesn't have to like do a long cast to heal himself. One thing we didn't do, we didn't give to the Naru right away. I think maybe that might have been a better idea. I think AoE totems. Maybe better, like, what's that, like, AoE totem that they got, the flame? The Fire Nova totem? Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we use this totem instead. You know, get rid of, you know, get rid of strength of Earth there. Yeah, maybe we'll give the, the Fire Nova, to to Nova Totem a try. Inflicts a lot of AoE damage, 219, so it's a lot. Don't kill any of them, but it's probably better. Thing is, it'll get destroyed right away. It'll pull aggro off of uh, the ones I'm not attacking. Which man is the cost to put down? 280. Searing style 110. Yeah, this does way more damage. Yeah. <laughs> Give that a try. And we'll get, we gotta get away. Like, I have to run. There's no winning that fight. So. But I was... I got a little greedy, I guess you could say. That should be a lot of AoE. You got that. You got them hitting me into my lightning shield. Which won't last too long, though. Because... I have five people hitting me. But we're back. We're going to try again. Hopefully this time we can succeed. I'm honestly thinking about like just putting Earthbind Totem down. Like right from the get go. Because I'm not killing one. Could maybe kite one away? You want the healing one? You want the. What does Earthbind take? What does the Earthbind Totem take away? How many totems can you have down? Can I put down every totem? Okay, so that totem is like on a cooldown. Okay. 
What are these turtles doing? So let's see where we have the stone skin totem. I think we just stick with the earth pines. And then when they come, I'll just drop a searing. Are they killing me? I'm gonna die again. No, I'm not. Couldn't kill her though. You still chasing me? Okay, good. I gotta heal quick. Now we can try pulling them. There's no CC either with Shaman. Like, I could root as a druid there. Warriors got the AoE fear. But yeah, here we go again. We keep, and they're all full health, I assume, right? Like so. I'm sure which one I should go for. You're thinking about the level 44 over there because it's the lowest one. Should be the easiest for me to take down. Yeah, we'll give this a try. See so if we can get two lightning bolts here. Should be able to get in like some damage. Really need to get lucky. And then run. Not sure how that's gonna work. Yeah, they reset, we heal, go back. We loot the pirate, hoping we get a key. There we go, we got it. So now we just gotta get the get the goods. So it's not that bad. Could have done this. Yeah, Sean, I was just crap. That's usually how it is. It's never you. It's never the game. It's always you. Most of the time. <laughs> I got. I was just getting wrecked. All right, so we still got these totems up. I guess we'll put down a new set and uh, go for this guy. This. Go for this guy. Getting the two lightning bolts off. Pretty big. Gift of the Naru. I got hit. That sucks. This won't work well. I'm giving this again. Got a gift of the Naru. Maybe I can kill this guy. No, that was dumb. Super greedy. Super greedy on my part. I'm gonna die. Run, dude. Yeah, really greedy. Yeah, it was a little too greedy. I should have just went for it. I got a gift of the Naru, like... Like before. The thing is, we're only dealing with four now, so... The thing is, I tried to get, like, the lightning bolt off. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, good. That actually worked well. Use putting down the searing totem was good because it got aggro. Okay, so here we go again. We're trying again. I think that turtle's still chasing me. No. Here we go again, guys.
Okay. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight this guy for the, the swashbuckler. Okay, so we got everything. Let's get a little bit of mana up here. We'll get to the Naru early. Kind of sucks doing that, but missed out on like a couple seconds of it. Maybe we can get this lightning bolt off. We gotta get the Naru going. And we actually. What the heck? Did you guys see that? They all died. But the box is gone. Oh man. Did we bug it? Yeah, we did. Ugh. Oh man, that's really rough. Like, that's so sad. They all just died and disappeared. Can we even do it again? Like, we don't have the... We can't. Well, that's rip, guys. That's, that's the end of Quergo's gold. We can't start it again. We got the key, but we don't have the treasure. I messed up, guys. My bad. I guess we're not getting the gold, guys. <laughs> we're not getting the Quergo's gold. <laughs> oh, man. That's rough. Well, I don't know what happened, guys. It bugged out. That was a bug. That, right there, we can blame the game. Because that was just weird. Like, we pulled four pirates, we killed one, and then they all just disappeared. And then, not only did they disappear, but the chest that I was going to open disappeared as well. But we have the key. We did get the key. Where's the key? Oh, it says we got the key. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. That was a rough quest, man. Maybe it wasn't that, it wasn't meant to be for Squidly Diddly. Pirate life's not for him. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.